What is going on, everybody? I got something crazy to tell you. We are less than $20,000 away from Bitcoin all-time high. We're also less than two months away from Bitcoin's halving. Knowing that right now we're moving at a really great speed. And just watch this with me for a second. That is a statement. That is a change in trend. We're putting prices that we had back in 2021. The question is when... What is the price Bitcoin is going to have by the end of the first week of April 2024? That is basically Bitcoin halving. Well, that's what I want to talk in this video because you ask, depends who you ask. Some people will tell you 100K, 30K, 70K, somewhere in between. And I mean, I'm going to tell you what the facts say. And I do agree with them because in reality, that gives you a very good realistic expectation, guys. But for now... $52,002 trillion. It's all playing in the hands of the ones who DCA and really are paying the price of patience. Let me show you this. You're seeing right now on the screen is that we are as still cheap. Look, right here. This is January, the last week of January. This is the second week of February. Less than a month and we went through a level from accumulate all the way to still cheap. Right. That means we have a little bit less than two months to get through another level from here to the yellow, which is huddle, right? Hold. Hold on for dear life. The thing is, if we just go right now today, February, to the next level, that's gonna be minimum price Bitcoin sixty four thousand dollars, guys. If we scroll all the way to the right, that is $67,000 minimum, then that says something. If we have some corrections, some failures, some sell-offs, as you can totally see here how it is not a perfect line all the way to the top, like this one is because, you know, February has been the best month Bitcoin has had in a long time. Just look at this for a second with me. We've had consolidation down pump consolidation a little a little bit of a pump consolidation a lot of different swings because of the bitcoin etf then correction and finally since last week of january and from here february the 4th we've had just an amazing rally for the last 10 days the last 10 days have been incredible so i'm going to tell you there's already a tons of predictions there's no need for you to panic when it comes to not finding predictions because everybody's bullish right now. Go ahead and tell the full story. Don't forget to smash the like button, everybody. Consider subscribing to the channel. Oscar's here. Take a look at the links down below. Turn on those notification bells because YouTube always wants to tell you very late that we're live or so. So you're the first ones to know and keep you with all the updates. Follow me on the channels. And well, if you have a question, please let me know down there. Now, we passed the two trillion, and I think that's amazing. I just wanted to show you well a big X account where I have all my positions. We're looking at for twelve thousand dollars, and these are my positions that I hold. We have Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, Tron, which is the one that I just bought, and I'm doing well. I'm actually looking to hold Tron for a long time. ICP, Quant, Cardano, Bonk, and some of the rest, and I'm still on red, but. I'm holding ones that are green and once we finally have a great altcoin season. So I'm telling you so you know where I'm coming from. Obviously, I hold crypto. This is my fourth year in crypto and I'm bullish. I'm going to become a crypto millionaire and I'm doing as just follow the book, right? You do what's best for you. You buy it. And at the end of the day, we're going to get out somewhere in the seriously sell. I don't know if we're going to get to the maximum bubble territory. That probably is too much to ask. But somewhere in this too, which means that if we just go right now, let's just play a game. If we just transport ourselves from here all the way to in the middle of seriously sell and FOMO, not taking in consideration this red one, because let's say it's too good to be true. The price of Bitcoin today right here will be in between $142 and $110. So 140 plus thousand dollars, roughly right around there today. 
if we go to the halving, we're looking at $150,000, $130,000. Guys, if that is what is showing us today, and we haven't even started the Bitcoin bull run season, the Alcoin season, the Ethereum space as well, take over. As of now, a 3x Bitcoin is not, is not really crazy. For the purposes of the Bitcoin halving, right? We're looking at, obviously, you do your uh, count. We have roughly 60 days to go. This is less than two months or so. According to this line, we have roughly um, April the 9th. So you know, a little bit less, let's say 50 or so days, 60 days. That's the case, guys, for us. We're looking at 60000 to even $75,000 if we continue rallying, if we continue progressing positively. I know that eventually this is too good to be true and we may have some corrections here and there. Go to 45, 46, 47. Um, that's where a lot of people are going to be picking up a lot of crypto as it happens somewhere here. But what if it's not? What if it doesn't? And what if it just we had a couple of bull pennants and we start skyrocketing all the way? Because let me just tell you one thing, guys. From this price to the all-time high, which is right here, it's just 33% pump. It's just a 33 big leak percent pump. So what we did from here to here, it's basically what we need to break the all-time high. And I'm going to show you guys. We just did exactly what we needed to break the all-time high. From January the 23rd to today, we did 34%. That is exactly what we need to be at the all-time high territory Bitcoin. And we did that in how many days? We did it in 23 days, approximately 23 days. Guys, if we want to know April, April is all the way here. Let's move here. I have my right here. It's my um, hobbing line. So we roughly have 55 days. 2x, over 2x the days we have pending for Bitcoin halving. Isn't that insane? It's pretty crazy, to be honest with you, because I know it's really hard to say. And I mean, it may not happen because there's obviously many ifs, but there's a chance Bitcoin can break all time high if it continues ripping in and before the halving. If it doesn't happen, that's totally fine. I'm expecting to buy the rumor, sell the news. Based on what you all saw right now, whatever happens there, definitely after Bitcoin halving, we may have some liquidations and volatility. But after that, we should be good to go. Bitcoin to over $60,000. I will put my signature right there that I think so. It would make absolutely, completely total sense. If it doesn't and we are still in the 50s, we just waited about two months and we're still in the same level. We've done that before. It's going to get boring, but it's all right. I will completely be okay keep buying and buying crypto at that level because I know after Bitcoin halving will be in much better territory. See you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Now you know. Act now. Peace.